and purchased it because the scene it was good reviews. It said it was a black girl friendly. And hey girl, hey, so welcome to my YouTube channel. But modesty, if you're new here, girl, go ahead and subscribe. Quit playing games. And if you're returning, girl, sis, where you been at? Okay. Today we're gonna talk about some TikTok, okay? TikTok, not TikTok, but a little bit of TikTok as well. So first of all, let me just get the jumping into it. I am so sick of the girl these gate keeping this biggest secret. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the biggest con of becoming a content creator that no one tells you. And just to jumpstart that off, the first one is your phone. Your phone. Okay, everyone tells you, you can be a content creator through your phone, which that is absolutely true. If you have an iPhone, be prepared. If you're shooting content or any phone, be prepared. You're going to run out of storage space. No one, I have seen no one talk about this. If they have, they must be on the other side of TikTok because I had to delete a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, which I should have had to do that if they would have just told me the additional items I needed to purchase. So that's the number one biggest con, okay? One on my list, I would definitely say purchase you a iPhone or a Samsung USB port to your phone. So let me see what the port looks like. I don't know if you guys can really see it. I'm gonna do a video showing you guys everything up close that I'm talking about. The iPhone USB port, it has an adapter part to go into your iPhone, and then it also has a port to go into your computer in case you wanna transfer your data over. If someone would've told me that from the jump start, I would've bought this in a heartbeat. But instead, your girl went ahead and deleted multiple pictures and videos, which I shouldn't have had to. The next item, which I know people be giving this a lot of hype, but I don't really see the hype about it. I don't. If you don't have storage on your phone, you cannot really use this SD reader, okay? You can't. If you don't have storage on your iPhone, how are you going to be able to transfer pictures and videos? How? No one talks about that. So nobody. And I know people say that they buy them an additional iPhone or that they have two phones that they work on. That's cool, fine and dandy. But I want you guys to take this into account accountability. You'll do better buying a camera, which is less, because well, you can find affordable cameras, less than $1,000. They buy a $1,000 iPhone that comes with the latest quality, the latest features. That's just my opinion. If you're gonna buy a thousand dollar camera, if you're gonna buy a thousand dollar phone, you might as well buy a thousand dollar camera. Like, make it make sense. So, sis, so, no, I think that is overhyped. This is definitely overhyped, over talked about. It may, it makes it seem as if it's the all be all to shoot on your phone, but in reality, no, I've only used this thing one time. No, I wouldn't even waste my money on that if you don't have storage on your iPhone. Another thing I don't talk about is when it comes down to the storage on your phone, those editing apps that you use. Sus, that takes up a lot of gigabytes, okay? I figured that out because I had to delete all of my editing apps on my phone. That way I can free up some space on my iPhone because even though I edited those videos and I delete, of course, out of my gallery, that app is holding all of the data that I've already recorded. So it really didn't do no good for me to delete those pictures because now those apps are cramming all of those gigabytes inside of them and they're holding up a lot of space. So in my opinion, if you have a laptop, I would edit strictly on my laptop if you want to free up space on your iPhone or your, your, your Samsung, whatever phone you have. Now I have an iPhone so that's why I'm strictly speaking on that um, because I had to delete a lot of stuff. Now I did purchase me a MacBook Pro. I purchased that specifically so that I could do my editing on it. Transferring my information over to my MacBook actually saved me a lot of data on my phone, to be honest with you guys. I could just add drop it, and that's the easiest thing ever, to just add drop. You don't have to have any additional connections, no additional plugins. So that could be also another way that I could say that could be beneficial. If you're going to shoot content on your phone and you have a MacBook Pro, you can just really add drop that data over to your MacBook, delete it from your phone, and that'll free up space also. So you kind of got to you kind of gotta put a little bit of money in, but it's not the amount of money you will put in having to continuously buy different ports to try to free up space on your phone. Another thing no one tells you about, when you buy a MacBook Pro, you would think that, oh, it's going to come with a little end piece as if my charger piece. 
No, it doesn't, y'all. And I was so devastated when I found that out because I was like, oh, well, I don't have to buy any more additional parts. I have this SD card reader. I can just plug it into my MacBook. Everything's fine. No, hell no. You gonna have to buy <laughs> you gonna have to buy more pieces, okay? Because the part, the end part to this MacBook is just like a Samsung, and I don't understand why no one told me this. Your girl had to go out and buy more items, okay? I had to go out and actually buy a USB, a SD card, and a a, a, a chip reader, y'all. I was so like, why am I spending so much money on all of these additional parts? This is pissing me off because someone should have told me this. I had to go out and buy this just so that I can plug up my uh, SD card to my MacBook because I purchased me a camera, you guys. And I'm gonna tell you why I purchased me a camera because of storage. No one told me. So I actually went ahead and bought me a camera because I was so sick of deleting everything on my phone and I was so sick of trying to figure out ways to make my phone work for me. Because in all actuality, I was never planning on buying another phone or I wasn't planning on buying a camera right now because I'm not too deep into this content situation and I don't feel like that was a, bit, a good investment for me at the time. But considering that I love the pictures on my phone and I use my phone quite often for a lot of different things, I just went ahead and made that investment. So this came out in October of 2022. This is a content creator blogging camera and I went ahead and purchased it because the scene it was good reviews. It said it was black girl friendly and your girl definitely wanted to try it out. Especially because of the price was very much so reasonable. So I'm really interested in seeing how this works out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys a close clip of that camera and also some of the features on it, if I can figure it out, because I'm using my camera now. The camera I'm shooting on is actually a, a Canon EOS Rebel 75i. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but I've been had that camera. I actually got that camera from a pawn shop. Check out y'all pawn shops. If y'all want to say something, check that out. I don't know, you know, about how everyone's is, but I bought this back in 2020, back in COVID, when your girl thought she was going to content create, and she didn't. So I just kept the camera because I wasn't gonna return it. Like, I'm just gonna keep it. And it really came in handy for this video because I don't have any more iPhone storage. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I did get the creator kit um, when I bought that camera. So it came with this vlogger kit. I don't know if it'll focus, you guys. If you're interested in checking this out, I heard the girl is on TikTok say that that was a game changer. So I'm definitely trying to see what it's talking about because your girl really, really, really am excited to have a camera because that iPhone storage issue is giving a problem. Now, if you're gonna still show your iPhone, that's fine. Get you a tripod. I thought I've already checked it out and I used it and it's very sturdy, very good. This is a good one. TikTok actually came through for that, okay? The whole iPhone situation, I don't know. But that, they came through for. So I would definitely suggest that because even if you're not having your camera around and you can shoot like small mini videos, I would definitely still use my phone for that. But for, for like long content videos such as this one, no way girl, don't even try. Don't. Those are all of the additional pieces that I had to purchase um, whenever I was starting my content creator journey. Pretty much wraps it up for my tech talk about some of the pros and cons that I've seen. You guys clips of everything that I have so you guys can see in depth. Everything that we talked about today is gonna be listed into the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Also, if you've had issues with your phone storage or if you've had to purchase a lot of additional bit, additional parts just so you can shoot content from your phone properly and not have any problems, let me know, comment down below because your girl cannot be the only one that has these problems. I just cannot, there's no way unless I'm just not that girl I thought I was, okay? So, uh, <laughs> go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You're gonna come back. I got new content coming out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. If I can't push it out, I will definitely give you one video, but multiple shorts, because your girl is becoming a queen of shorts, okay? I'm figuring it out, and I'm slaying every time, honey. So until next time, I'll see you girlies later. Bye.